Hey guys, so this was a scapula mobilization routine that you can do at your home basically just using the body weight as you saw and what we are practicing here is the movement of the shoulder girdle so I'm talking about this type of motion where it's not the, the actual delta of the shoulder but the shoulder girdle is the clavicle and also the shoulder the shoulder blade so we wanna, we're trying to control and articulate these movements the best we can so in order to do that effectively Two things need to happen. This arm from the elbow is, needs to be very still. So I'm not pressing with the tricep basically when I'm doing these motions or pulling. And the other thing comes with the core. So if I do the plank, this sort of sagging can't happen. I must keep this very tight, contract here. You can even aid by, by contracting the glute muscles as well if you want to. And now that I start lowering here, you know, you could think that this is the passive direction and you just sort of fall down here. But what I'm actively trying to do here is as my arms, the shoulder girdle, the shoulder blade travels back, I'm really trying to actively use my upper back muscles, simultaneously pulling there while resisting the motion, basically with the, with the chest, the pec minor and the serratus. So as I go slowly, it's like a multi-contraction and I don't release it ever. And the same thing applies to all these variations that you saw, whether, whether it's the, the depression or like in the this one, basically the overhead striking motion, the same principles apply. So if you think about how important it is the control of the shoulder girdle, well, 
if you can't move it, you can't really stabilize it either. And the stabilizing is what makes it safe and strong, the actual motion from your shoulders, so that the shoulder, the delta can actually move from a stable base. This area here, the shoulder girdle, can't fluctuate wherever. It needs to stay kind of rigid and help the movement of the shoulders. And it also allows that full range when we go overhead, behind the back, to extension. So that's that for this time. Hope you enjoyed this video and find it useful. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Thank you.